Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. Now, this is the second tutorial of Wireshark. Uh, so in the last lesson, I actually I told, told you how to start capturing packets in Wireshark and what these actually mean. So uh, let's uh, start off from there. So again, I told you that these are the network interface cards that are actually going to be uh, capturing the uh, basically the packets or the data that's being transmitted on the networks. So for now, I'm going to use Wi-Fi because that's what I want to actually capture my packets with so just click on that and then it starts capturing so what I'm going to tell you now is uh, how to basically analyze uh, these packets in terms of what they are and what they carry so as you, as I told you this is to stop capturing packets and this is to restart or start it so I'm going to stop it and uh, let's look at what we have so you basically have three sections over here in uh, Wireshark you have this section you have this one here and you have uh, this last section here now this section is basically the packets that are being scanned and have been uh, actually uh, scanned uh, as you can see there's something that in, it's encrypted now this second uh, uh, portion of the screen here is giving more information about the packet so as you can see it gives more into information about uh, what the packet is uh, how it's being transmitted and uh, the um, and the basically the manufacturer of the uh, of the device that's transmitting it. Uh, so as you can see, TP-Link, that's my router. It's telling me the source, Azure Wave. Um, not really much you can work on, uh, of course, because this is not really a useful packet that I've captured. But so basically this screen here gives you the packets that being scanned. This one gives you more information about the packets. And this screen here is probably the least used in Wireshark. This is basically the raw transmission between your computer and the router. Now what this means is this is how your router and computer are basically communicating with each other. So as you can see it's in bits and bytes and you can show it, uh, show it as bits and you can show it as bytes. So this is basically it. Now uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is how you can basically edit this um, in interface to your specifications. So you're going to edit and you're going to preferences. Now these preferences are focused more on Wireshark as a um, as the, for the Wireshark layouts, so we have layouts here, and as you can see, you have uh, the different types of layouts. You can have one, two, three, which is what we have now. One, two, th one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. Uh, but the one I like to have is this one, because it just basically keep, uh, puts it in a very nice way. We can read the packets in a long, in a long type of uh, way, and you can basically minimize that one to the bottom. And yeah, there you are. It's basically split equally, and you have more uh, screen real estate for whatever you're doing. So again, if we go into preferences, it's just the basic layout of how, of how you want Wireshark to look and how you want it to work for you. So that's basically the uh, layouts and what each of these panels do. Uh, now I'm going to talk about uh, the toolbar actions here. So as you can see, we have a few, uh, quite a few things you can uh, use on this toolbar. So as we know that this is to start capturing packets. Uh, so let's start capturing uh, new packets and you can stop capturing packets and then you can restart the current capture and you have your capture options now the capture options is something I'll visit in the next video because it's uh, quite uh, of an uh, advanced uh, tutorial the next one where I'll be showing you how to actually specify what packets you want to scan so we'll leave that for now you then have open a capture file. This is if you have already a saved uh, capture file, which you can do, by the way, you can actually save whatever you've captured. Uh, the next one is to basically uh, open. Uh, you can save the capture file, the, the one you already have. Uh, close this capture file. Reload the capture file. Find a packet. So, for example, if you want to find a packet that we've just scanned, I'm just going to use a basic protocol, HTTP. Um, let's find and we didn't get any because it did not uh, scan for any HTTP but we'll get to that in the, uh, in the next video um, so here you have the previous packet here you have the next packet and as you can see it scrolls through the packets uh, in, in uh, the packet list that you've just scanned then you have uh, go to specify packet and you, again you can scan via the number by the number or the ID here so we can say go to packet and it's going to scan like that yeah, and the, the next one we have here, uh, sorry, it's uh, here, go to the first packet and go directly to the list. And uh, here we have go to the bottom packet, which will take you di directly downwards. The next uh, tool we have, uh, automatically scroll to the last packet during a live capture. 
that obviously we know is this one right here. You, th you then can zoom in the interface uh, if, you have, uh, if you have problems reading. So that's very, very useful. Uh, and you can zoom in and out. So basically that's what it is. And this will basically apply the defaults to the, the font size and uh, it will just restore whatever you've zoomed or zoomed in or out. The next thing is resize the packet columns list. This is pretty self-explanatory. You can just resize uh, the, these little these columns here to your to your liking. All right. So that's basically the the toolbar actions. Don't worry about these um, these little tools up here. These are just uh, for um, another tutorial. I'll be covering them, but you don't really need re need them right now. So that's basically it for the second tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial will I'll be showing you how to actually scan. Uh, for packets um, and how to uh, specify what packets you can get so you can actually make some sense of what you're scanning and how to get valuable information from them. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys. If you, this video helped you, please leave a like. Follow me on my social networks. They will be in the description or on the screen right now. Uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching and peace.